Hey, good afternoon everybody. It's Michael with today's serving of Daily Bread from God's Word. And today I wanted to look at a text with you from Galatians chapter 5. Um, primarily I wanted us to see verses 20 through through 24. The Apostle Paul is trying to show us and, and tell us what a life looks like with somebody who is following after Jesus and is being led by the Holy Spirit. And in this particular text, Paul has been contrasting what it means to be led by the Spirit and be led by the flesh. And he said in verse 19, Now the deeds of the flesh are evident, which are immorality, impurity, sensuality, idolatry, sorcery, enmity, strife, jealousy, outbursts of anger, disputes, dissensions, fractions, envying, drunkenness, carousing, and things like these, of which I forewarn you, just as I have forewarned you that those who practice such things will not inherit the kingdom of God. Well, that's a pretty dark text. I mean, the Apostle Paul just lays it out as clearly as he can. He says this is what a life looks like, a life that looks like somebody who follows themselves, their own desires, their own wants, their own wishes. This is somebody who has no regard for other people. They only are concerned with their own pleasure, with their own status. They're only concerned about themselves. And then the Apostle Paul is going to take this very dark text and then turn that coin for us. And we're going to see then the contrast. We're going to see what it means to be led by the Spirit. The Bible then goes on to say in verse 22, but the fruit of the Spirit is love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, self-control. Against such things there is no law. Now those who belong to Christ Jesus have, been cruci have crucified the flesh with its passions and desires. Paul points out here that somebody who is led by the Spirit is no longer being led by their own wants, wishes, and desires. Instead, they're being led by God's Spirit itself. When I look at this, we often call this text the fruit of the Spirit, and rightfully so. I'm not disputing that one bit. But I think maybe we could also use another phrase. It's the solution of the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit gives us solutions to the things that we're struggling with in this life. If you notice these things that it lists, it says the fruit of the Spirit is love. Whenever we find ourselves bitter and angry, frustrated, jealous, whatever it might be, instead of returning evil for evil, we choose to return evil with acts of love. It talks about being joyful. That when a spirit of bitterness is creeping in and there's something that's bothering me that's really, really frustrating me and keeping me upset, I'm not going to let that control me. Instead, I'm going to choose joy. He says that it's about peace. It's not about chaos. It's not about friction. It's not about envy, but rather we want to be peaceable people. We want to be peaceful, if you will. Uh, not people led by chaos, but people who are led by peace. He talks about being patient and how we all could learn to grow in our patience. But in those moments where we feel like we're just kind of short-tempered, or those moments where we, we, we feel like we've given somebody one too many chances, that we slow down and we remember how many chances God has given us, and we just continue to be patient with this person. It talks about being uh, kind, and, and the, the fact that, that we all should every day choose to be kind. I think of that, uh, that phrase that the teacher wrote on the chalkboard in the movie Wonder, when, when he, he says, when faced with a choice to be right or to be kind, choose kindness. And we want to do the same. Goodness. Goodness is the Latin word. It's just a few letters off of the, the word we get for God. And, and so when we choose goodness, we really are choosing God because God is good. Faithfulness. To, to be true to our word and to be faithful to God and the promise we made to Him when we decided to uh, enter into a covenant with Him when we were baptized into Christ. It talks about being gentle. Uh, to not be people who are given to fits of rage and violence and that our anger doesn't con uh, consume us, but rather we take a gentle approach. And then lastly, to be self-controlled. When we see ourselves you know, feeling those moments of temptation, where we, we find ourselves wanting to give in to the things of the flesh, then instead we choose self-control. All of these things, we have the ability to choose them. We have the ability to choose love, joy, peace, patience, gentleness, um, 
uh, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, self-control. I think I got those out of order there for a second, but you get my, my point. We want to choose the Holy Spirit, and we want to allow it to help produce within us something that we could not produce ourselves. So this day, let's look for the solution that is the Holy Spirit as we fight against the things of the flesh. Blessings. Have a great and wonderful day.